Welcome to all students from Dentistry Online Channel. Today our topic of lecture is Pharyngeal Arches, also known as Branchial Arches. Branchial Arches are seen at the fourth week in utero. These arches are one of a series of bony or cartilaginous arches that develop in the walls of the mouth cavity and pharynx of a vertebrate embryo. Consist typically of a curved segmented bar or rod on each side meeting the contralateral bar or rod at the ventral end, and correspond to the gill arches of fishes and amphibians. Pharyngeal arches consist of three layers. The ectoderm, which forms the pharyngeal clefts. The mesoderm, and the endoderm, which forms the pharyngeal pouches. Ectoderm is the outer layer and separates the arches externally. Mesoderm is present between ectoderm and endoderm. It contains cartilage rod, muscle, artery, and nerve. Endoderm is the inner layer, which separates the arches internally. Now how many pharyngeal clefts, arches and pouches are present in human? There are four pairs of pharyngeal clefts. Pharyngeal pouches have five pairs. And Pharyngeal arches have six pairs in total. Fifth pair of pouches and arches is rudimentary in adults. Now the structures formed from the pharyngeal cleft. There are total four pairs of pharyngeal clefts which are formed from ectoderm. Out of four clefts, only first pair of pharyngeal cleft gives rise to external auditory canal point to remember is that no any other structure is formed by second, third, or fourth clefts. These are obliterated by mesenchyme within arches. Now the structures formed from pharyngeal arches. There are total six pairs of pharyngeal arches. Fifth pair of pharyngeal arches is rudimentary and regresses soon after development. Each arch has four components. Muscular which forms the muscles. Cartilaginous which forms the cartilage and bones. Nerve component which gives nerve supply to corresponding arch. And vascular component which gives blood supply to the arch. Now which structures are formed from first pharyngeal arches? First pharyngeal arches forms muscular, cartilaginous, nerve, and vascular components. Muscular components has mnemonic, 2, M, 4, T, from M there are muscles of mastications, which includes temporalis, masseter and pterygoid, mylohyoid muscle, from T there are tensor tympani, tensor veli palatini, anterior two-thirds of tongue, and, digastric muscles anterior bellies, cartilaginous component has mnemonic, 4, M, 2, T, from M, there is, Maxillary bone, malleus and incus bones of ear, Meckel's cartilage, sphenomandibular ligament, squamous part of temporal bone, and zygomatic bone of face. Now the nerve which is associated with first pharyngeal arch as the mandibular division of trigeminal nerve of cranial nerves. Next is vascular component. Arterial supply of first pharyngeal arch is derived from maxillary artery, which is terminal branch of external carotid artery. Now the structures, which are formed from second pharyngeal arches are muscular, cartilaginous, nerve, and vascular components. Muscular components has mnemonic, triple S, B, A. P, P, from S there are muscles of stapedius, stylohyoid, and smile muscles which includes muscles of facial expression, B for buccinator, A for auricular muscles, P for platysma muscle, and P for posterior belly of digastric muscles. Now the cartilaginous component has mnemonic, triple S U R L from S states bone is formed. Next is styloid process, and, stylohyoid ligament, from, U, there is upper body of hyoid bone which is formed, R stands for Rikert's cartilage, and, L stands for lesser conua of hyoid bone, nerve supply of the second pharyngeal arch is through seventh cranial nerve which is facial nerve, arterial supply is through stapedial artery which obliterates at birth,
Now the structures, which are formed from third pharyngeal arches are muscular, cartilaginous, nerve, and vascular components. Muscular components has mnemonic, SP which stands for stylopharyngeous muscle. You can easily remember as S stands for second and P stands for pharynx. All pharynx muscles are formed from fourth pharyngeal arches except stylopharyngeus which is formed from third arch next as cartilaginous component which is opposite of hyoid structures formed from second pharyngeal arch. The greater conua of hyoid bone and lower body of hyoid bone. Nerve supply is from ninth cranial nerve glossopharyngeal nerve. Arterial supply is from common and internal carotid artery as both arteries are near the hyoid bone. Now the structures, which are formed from fourth pharyngeal arches are muscular, cartilaginous, nerve, and vascular components. Muscular components has mnemonic, triple PSC which stands for palatoglossus muscle pharyngeus and all constrictor muscles of pharynx. S stands for salpingopharyngeus muscle, and C stands for cricothyroid muscle. Cartilaginous components only forms thyroid cartilage. Nerve supply is from 10th cranial nerve branch, which is superior laryngeal nerve. Blood supply of right side is from aortic arch, and left side is from subclavian. Next, the fifth pair of pharyngeal arches does not form any structure of oral cavity and immediately went into recession after birth and becomes rudimentary arch. Now the structures, which are formed from sixth pharyngeal arches are basically larynx-related structures. These are muscular, cartilaginous, nerve, and vascular components. Muscular component forms all intrinsic muscles of larynx except cricothyroid. Cartilaginous forms cricoid and arytenoid cartilages. Nerve is formed from sixth arch as recurrent laryngeal nerve which is branch of tenth cranial nerve. Vagus nerve, arterial supply to right side is from pulmonary artery and ductus arteriosus arterial supply to left side is from pulmonary artery only lastly pharyngeal pouches which are formed by endoderm and separates the arches internally have five pairs of pouches first pouch has mnemonic one a means first pharyngeal pouch as related to auditory tube it forms the epithelial lining of auditory tube middle ear cavity and mastoid antrum Second pouch has mnemonic. 2. P. It means second pharyngeal pouch is related to palatine. It forms epithelial lining of crypts of palatine tonsil. Third pouch has mnemonic. 3. Tip. So third pharyngeal pouch forms thymus and inferior parathyroid gland. Fourth pouch mnemonic is. 4. SPUV. So fourth pharyngeal pouch forms superior parathyroid gland and ultimobranchial body. Fifth pharyngeal pouch is ultimobranchial body and forms parafollicular cells of thyroid gland. Thanks for watching and listening today's lecture. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for new lectures.